You guess this is the Tunelander and this is Mods of the Week episode 25. So, as always, got some cool mods for you today. Uh, the first one I want to show off is the Shiloh DS, uh, basically colored uh, world map, which is sent in by Fix Cipher. And what this does is turns, it basically takes the world map, and makes it pretty uh, instead of just kind of a not bland but not a very descriptive, uh, you know, flat brown. It's got it's textured. It's got a uh, what's, the, what's the word from it? It's like a, instead of being like a, just like a political map, it's like an actual geographical map. I forget the, or featured map or something. I can't remember these. That's going to bother me now. Damn. Anyways, uh, you can see it's, it's, it's quite cool. There's a whole bunch of different options. You can get different icons, too. You can change the fidelity and the detail of the, uh, the map. And you see it's got a list of, uh, it's also got some handy lists, you know, all the, uh, the mod vendors, as well as snow globe locations, if you want to check that. If not, you don't even have to look at it, so... You can uh, change the zoom in, so by default, you could see the whole map in this area of the screen. You could see maybe, like, this much of it. Uh, it's really up to you, and it just makes it look a lot cooler and add some nice customization. The skill books, too, even. So, yeah, it's really, uh, it's quite cool. It's, uh, just, again, it's something that really adds a bit more flavor to the game. So definitely something you want to check out. I think it's not obviously not much of a performance impact or anything, so no real reason not to. So, very cool mod, in my opinion. And if you're wondering, I'm listening to the the mysterious broadcast radio station from Old World Blues, which it turns out is actually a radio station, which is pretty awesome. It just plays like uh, smooth jazz, so I'm loving that. Uh, the next mod I have to show you is the uh, Lamprey Mini Missile Launcher, which is sent in by Single Cell 55. And what this is, it's a weapon mod that uh, basically turns the missile launcher into something like a, or creates a weapon that's like kind of like a man portable weapon. I'm not shooting at you, Veronica. And uh, you can see it looks friggin' sweet. Like, just check that out. That is goddamn cool, but, uh, see, uh, it looks really cool if only find it. You find it right in the, the hangar here the, at Nellis, and it's got uh, ammo crafting plans, a whole bunch of ammo, and the thing itself, so. I'm going to turn off God Mode for a second so you can see how it fires normally. Let's see, that's pretty damn far. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll turn it off so you can see me reload it as well. So yeah, just a really cool weapon, uh, and uh, it makes the missile launcher look a bit more realistic because it is kind of silly to see someone carrying around a, a thing like the, it's absolutely massive on their shoulder like that. You can see uh, it's got some pretty freaking respectable DPS as well. So not really something you want to mess with. It's a solid weapon, but not unfair, and at least not in my opinion, which is nice. Yeah, if you're a fan of explosives, I would definitely recommend giving this a, a look-see, because it's really quite cool. And my mouse is flipping out on me. Huh. It's not like a good time for that, I'll tell you that much. Uh, alrighty. Christ. I apologize, I'm touchpad away. What's this? this is probably going to end poorly, but uh, we'll have to use the touchpad for now. Oh, there we go. Much better. Anyways, uh, the next one I have to show you is the... Uh, it's a holo rifle retexture, which is sent in by uh, Daydem1315, and this basically takes the normal holo rifle, which is uh, like a lot of the vanilla texture is not too great, because it has to be run on a wide variety of systems, and it replaces it with something that uh, frankly looks a whole hell of a lot better. So I can't really zoom in on it to give you the full view of the texture, but you can see uh, it's much, much darker, much grittier, and it's more realistic looking than the default holo rifle. There's a first person view of it. The firing animation is still the same, but the uh, the model itself is quite different and just looks a lot better. So if you like the whole rifle or you're using just planning on playing through Dead Money and you want it to look better, uh, definitely give this a shot. And yes, uh, Fook is putting the boomers in T57C power armor, which if you're wondering what that is, it's quite cool. I've been meaning to do a, a video on like all the modded power armors and get into that, but uh, anyways, yeah, just a nice retexture again. Uh, a lot of mods don't really have any actual, if you're worried about mods making your game, you know, too easy or anything like that, a lot of mods don't have any real impact on the game, aside from just making it look better, which really, you can't really say anything against that, so, uh, not only can you add a whole ton of new features on the PC, but one of the other main advantages is if you have a good computer, you can make the game look way better than it ever possibly can on console, which is really nice. Uh, alrighty, what else was there? Oh. One other thing, I can't really demonstrate it, is it, it's, the, the whole concept is that if it's working, you're not going to notice it, but it's called, something called Operation Fixed Terrain, which is sent in by Maikun, 
at Mike Mike in the 89, and what this does is it basically takes, you know how, you, if you've been playing the game, you've, you've, you've noticed there's areas of terrain where things don't clip quite right, you'll see gaps, stuff like that, and this basically, it's a, a massive overhaul of the entire game, and solely at eliminating all of those spots. So the idea is just that you, uh, you, you turn it on, and it just kind of makes the, the terrain mesh better and look better, and again, like I said, it's kind of hard to demonstrate that, uh, due to the simple fact that if it's working, I'm not going to notice it's working unless there was a blatant trouble spot that I uh, noticed before, but I'm not really aware of one that I can show. So, unfortunately, I can't really demonstrate that one, but I urge you to get it anyways because it's another one of those mods that can really affect your game in a, an excellent way just simply by not actually changing the gameplay at all, but simply making the game look better and play better. So the next mod I have for you is the Centurion NCR armor, which in the theme of the Dragon Skin N uh, NCR overhaul I showed last week, takes the NCR armor, the default NCR armor, and replaces it with uh, something, well, it's not quite as modern day looking as the Dragon Skin Tactical outfit. It's still a, a bit more modern than the kind of you know, breastplate and, and cloth most of the NCR troopers wear in default New Vegas. And I personally, actually, uh, the NCR armor, I kind of like it a lot. I, I don't know why there's something about it, just... I like it, but uh, a lot of people don't, I know, so uh, these mods show them because if you think the NCR, if you feel like they should look like more of a professional military, these are the mods for you. So we're going to wait so we can actually see them in the daytime, because, you know, I'm kind of dumb if I want to show you guys at night. Yeah, here's the menu song. I have the entire Heroes of Mind Magic 3 soundtrack on my iPod because it's amazing. Fantastic music, but it tends to kind of get stuck in my head. It's pretty bad. Not the, the song, the fact that it gets stuck in my head. And even then, I don't, don't I really regret it, but uh, having anything stuck in your head for too long can be kind of a pain. I'm really rambling. I apologize. Lack of sleep. <sighs> I'm not insane, I promise. Alright, let's go find some ins What the hell are you doing in here, Marcus? Jesus Christ. So you can see, again, this is called the Centurion... Uh, NCR armor, or, and it, what it does is it makes the armor look uh, significantly more modern. You know, like you got the, uh, the more of like the, the bulletproof vest and the, the pouches and stuff, but it doesn't make it look quite as modern as, say, the, the Dragon Skin Tactical Outfit overhaul. So if you're looking for something that uh, it makes the NCR look more professional and more like a, an actual professional military, but not something that makes them look like, you know, they just marched right out of the uh, U.S. Army circa 2011, uh, this may very well be the armor for you. It's quite cool, quite well done, and again, it just, it, it's, uh, it modernized, not modernizes, but it makes the NCR, like, a bit more professional without, uh, removing that still kind of definite post-apocalyptic feel. So, that's quite cool. I think you can get a look at the back here. And it's overall just a nice, nicely done suit of armor. Oh my god, are you the one who saved President Kimball? Well, yes, I'm kind of a big deal. And so, in a bit of the departure, I'm going to be doing the pre-order alternative DLC mod, uh, first before the last mod I have for you today. So this is the Mysterious Pack, and it basically gives you the Mysterious Stranger outfit. As you can see, it's kind of funny to use my character as a girl, but you know what? What are you going to do? And uh, a pistol looks like his. Unfortunately, it does not make the music, but I'm not really sure what's up with that either. Uh, but, and you can see the exact uh, names for the stuff is uh, Kyber's Dead and Outfit and the Hat of Kirk, so it's called the Mysterious Pack, so... If you want to be able to look like the Mysterious Stranger and have his gun right from the start, which is actually quite a decent gun, then, uh, there you go. And the last mod I have for you today is the Caesar's Legion Overhaul. I mean, if the NCR gets a, a reskin mod and another one, it seems only fair to show the Legion one. This has been recommended by quite a few people, so first we have to do set all Mac markers to shown so that I can fast travel there. And I'm doing it on this character because, unfortunately, my, uh, the hat that looks uh, kind of dumb in the female character. Unfortunately, uh, my other characters, or all of my characters, are hated by the Legion, so uh, it'd be kind of hard for me to show you their, their costumes if I was busy, you know, massacring them. So, we're gonna go like this and hope I don't get murdered or something for showing up without an invitation, because that'd be kind of awkward. By order of... I agree to disarm. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. So the main thing this does is it's a little harder to notice on the, uh, the rank and file guys, but it gives an uh, alternate or some variety in like both the appearance of the dress, uh, I'm looking forward to as well as the, uh, the the helmets will change. You see, uh, I'm not quite. Let me see what these guys. I just want to make sure they have the same stuff. Um, 
Legion Prime armor. Yeah, I, th I think that's why he's a. Yeah, the main uh, difference is visible on some of the uh, kind of more higher ranking guys, if you will, especially stuff like the Vex. It basically adds a. It overhauls the Legion armor to make it uh, look a little better and add in a bit more variety. The new slave girls are quite beautiful. Uh. At a boy. Anyways, uh. Like I said, it's it's most distinct on the uh, but the epilogues. You can see even like the recruit guys. You know he's got a whole sorts of patches and stuff now. Instead of having an actual helmet, he's just got the neck scarf. So basically, it gives him a bit more variety instead of them all having you know the same helmet and the same outfit, which I, I think is quite nice personally. See you later, alligator. It's mixed into a tribal society like uh, the Legion. They're, they're not the Roman Legion. They're inspired by them. And you oh. see this guy's got the different headgear. So they're, they're not the Legion, they're just inspired by them, the Roman Legions, so there it would make sense that there'd be a bit of a kind of, you know, personal touch in the outfits, because this is post-apocalyptic after all. You see, that's the Legion metal armor. It's very, very badass looking. Well, I think my textures may be messed up on this one, because I'm not quite... <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure if the textures on that are messed up or not, but... uh. Let me see if I can find a Vexillarius for you. If the textures are messed up, though, I think it looks quite cool. If they are messed up, uh, it would look pretty cool nonetheless. You see the, uh, the high-ranking ones can have kind of looted T50 or T45D, you know, again with the, uh, I forget what the, the, the skirt things are called, and uh, all the belt bags. See the, the blacksmith. I'm gonna see if I can find a, one of the flag guys, because I think they have even more different armor. And then I know that the, uh, there's a veteran? I know that the, uh, the Praetorians have really cool looking armor. I really wanted to find a Vexillarius. You can see, uh, that's, I think that's a Praetorian, or Centurion. Oh, no, it's a veteran. Again, look at the difference in the helmets. It's all about the armor as well. It's all about just giving the Legion a little more variety, making each individual soldier just a bit more distinct. And you can see right here the uh, the Praetorians have the, the, the badass like, Centurion helmets, so those are really quite cool. And yeah, that, that's uh, most of the other stuff. I think it also adds on like a companion to some of the stuff like that. I haven't had the chance to explore it too in-depth, but it's basically a pretty subtle visual overhaul that just adds a bit more variety to the Legion, uh, makes the individual soldiers a bit more distinct. Add some better high-end gear again, like the T45 day, and just overall makes the Legion look a lot better. So if you're a Legion fan, this is definitely something you might want to consider getting. It's not that I don't really have a problem with the existing Legion aesthetic look, but it's always nice to have a bit more variety. And I think this mod accomplishes it quite nicely. So uh, that's all I really had for you for today. I'm just laughing at the... <laughs> oh, my... oh, right there, my gun. I'm laughing at the, the female character in the Mysterious Stranger uh, trench coat. That's pretty funny. Anyways, yeah, that's all I had for today. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, things like that, send them to me. I'll do my best to get them answered. Uh, the messages, I've been getting a lot of messages nowadays, so I'm still trying to reply to all of them, but it takes me a while to sift through. So, but I will absolutely try and get back to you if I, I at all possibly can. So, as always, thanks for watching. This is the Tunator, and I'll see you all later.